Mike Tyson and Joe Rogan finally reacted to the fight between Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney Mike didn't hold back stating that Jake Paul might be a more suitable opponent compared to Haney, especially since Paul isn't complaining about facing Tyson's beast size and more weight in the ring. Meanwhile, Joe Rogan dropped a bombshell of his own, suggesting that Haney could potentially pursue legal action against Ryan Garcia due to the circumstances surrounding their fight, but Devin Haney had other thoughts frustrated from the loss. He is throwing challenges to anyone criticizing him. What's next for him? Let's find out. But first, let's have a look at what Tyson and Joe had to say Devin Haney made a big mistake Tyson asserted. And we all know when Tyson says something like this, it carries the weight of years of experience in the ring. He talked too much, underestimated Ryan. You can't underestimate a fighter like that, especially one with Garcia's speed and power. Haney seemed overly confident, almost dismissive of Garcia's capabilities. It's a classic case of underestimating your opponent. Garcia's mental and physical condition had been a topic of discussion in the lead up to the fight. Many questioned his readiness. But once the bell rang, Garcia silenced all doubts. He unleashed a barrage of punches that sent shockwaves through the boxing world. Reflecting on the psychological aspect of boxing, Tyson continued Haney's arrogance got the best of him in this sport. Mental toughness is just as important as physical prowess. Garcia dropped Devin Haney three times en route to one of the most stunning upset victories in recent boxing history. Garcia prevailed by majority decision with one judge scoring the fight a draw Garcia's power and speed were early factors Haney lacked adaptability he didn't adjust his game plan when Garcia's power became apparent that's a rookie mistake Tyson further added Tyson was not happy with Haney about his pre-fight press conference he was talking too much Haney was talking too much Tyson remarked with a hint of disdain he underestimated Ryan Garcia calling him an average fighter with a big name. But let me tell you, Joe, I'm a proven fighter, a proven champion who's been tested by some of the best in the world. Boxing isn't just about words, it's about what happens in the ring. Tyson continued Haney should have focused on his training and preparation. Instead of boasting about his credentials, Garcia proved him wrong. When it mattered most, Tyson's analysis wasn't solely focused on Haney's shortcomings. He also praised Garcia's performance. You've got to give credit where it's due. Ray and Garcia showed incredible skill and determination. He capitalized on Haney's weaknesses. Haney was too confident, too cocky. He paid the price in the ring across from Tyson Joe Rogan. Known for his analytical approach, Rogan wasted no time in addressing the controversies surrounding the Garcia versus Haney showdown. Joe Rogan said Ryan Garcia missing weight limit cheapens win over Devin Haney. Ryan Garcia's victory is somewhat tainted by the weight issue Rogan oined coming in over the limit raises questions about professionalism and sportsmanship making weight is a fundamental part of being a professional fighter it sets the tone for the entire event instead of staying in the zone for the upcoming fight garcia's behavior online started to get a bit strange he began talking about conspiracy theories like the illuminati and bohemian grove it seemed like he was more interested in these topics than preparing for the match garcia also claimed to have a photo of a real alien and made wild accusations about celebrities being influenced by Satan. These distractions quickly shifted attention away from the fight itself. People were left wondering what was going on with Garcia. Garcia's pre-fight antics were concerning. It's not just about the numbers, it's about integrity and respecting the rules of the sport. And Joe thinks there is a legal view of the fight. As well, you know, Mike Haney could potentially sue Ryan for coming in overweight Rogan remarked missing weight isn't just a breach of professional conduct. Imagine training for weeks preparing yourself mentally and physically only to have your opponent show up with more weight. They should be looking at guys like me, Mike Tyson, only bit one ear. I want to bite both. And Haney is actually lawsuiting Ryan Devin Haney was not pleased the aftermath of his fight with Ryan Garcia had left a sour taste in his mouth. And now he was taking action. Haney was gearing up to file a lawsuit against Garcia, accusing him of cheating during their match. It was a bold move, but Haney felt it was necessary to set the record straight. The weight limit is a fundamental rule in boxing. It's there for a reason to ensure fairness and safety for both fighters. Haney declared in a statement to the press, I trained hard made weight and followed the rules seeing Garcia come in heavier was disappointing and unacceptable reflecting on the events leading up to his decision to pursue legal action. Haney was resolute cheating has no place in boxing. By taking this step, I aim to hold Garcia accountable for his actions and ensure fairness for all athletes. 
but is Devin just crying should he accept the loss and move on when the news of the lawsuit claims reached Ryan Garcia? He took it to Twitter Garcia's initial tweet, accompanied by two crying M emojis, seemed to downplay the weight discrepancy stating I don't know 3 is nothing stop crying he followed up with another tweet, asserting his readiness and confidence, despite the weight advantage, I feel great, and I got a 3 bit advantage, let's go ha 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 winners, do what they have to do I'm still sharp as the tweets continued Garcia's tone became more assertive and nationalistic, he declared all that Viva Mexico were leaving with his head belt will always be there Garcia further defended his position, stating why would I force myself to make weight so I can be weak now? Nah, I'm here to win that's it in a final tweet Garcia used humor to address the weight issue claiming my balls got too heavy and back gained too much muscle from carrying the promo and my fingers got stronger from all the tweet damn comments flooded social media platforms with fans rallying behind Garcia one user tweeted Haney needs to stop crying over three pounds it's just part of the game if you can't handle it don't step into the ring with Garcia another fan chimed in Haney is just jealous of Garcia's confidence and skill stop making excuses and accept the loss however amidst the vocal support for Garcia there were voices of reason cautioning against dismissing Haney's concerns outright some fans urged for a fair assessment of the situation, emphasizing the importance of up upholding the rules and integrity of the sport. Let's not brush off Haney's claims weight limits are there for a reason one fan commented what do you guys have to say about this comment box is yours for fans who missed the highly anticipated Haney vs Garcia fight it was truly a spectacle filled with unexpected turns and explosive moments right from the start the opening punch of the bout a powerful left hook from Ryan Garcia caught Devin Haney off guard setting the tone for the entire fight although Haney recovered quickly there seemed to be a strategic game plan at play that wasn't immediately apparent to everyone watching Garcia's decision to miss weight initially seemed perplexing but as the fight unfolded it revealed itself as a calculated move by coming in heavier Garcia intended to disrupt Haney's usual stick and move boxing style instead of relying on technical finesse, Garcia opted for a different approach to go for power over precision. As the fight progressed Garcia strategically conceded some early rounds patiently waiting for his moment to unleash his power in the seventh round his strategy paid off dramatically with a massive left hook that dropped Haney and completely shifted the momentum in Garcia's favor. The knockdowns continued with Garcia flooring Haney again in the 10th and 11th rounds three knockdowns in total. This was uncharted territory for Haney, who had never faced such adversity in his career. Ryan Garcia's self-proclaimed title as the king of boxing might sound like bravado, but his performance in this fight spoke volumes about his talent and potential he showcased resilient strategy and knockout power that left a lasting impression on the boxing world. Despite Garcia's victory, the WBC belt was not on the line due to his failure to make weight as a result Haney's title as WBC champion is now in question leaving the title vacant after the significant loss. Devin Haney's call for a rematch with Ryan Garcia has has added another layer of drama to their rivalry, but the question of whether he deserves one is up for debate. I would love a rematch I gave him a shot it's only right, he gives me a shot back Haney declared passionately from the ring. After their initial fight, he didn't make weight, so I'm still the champion we can run it back. Haney emphasized however Ryan Garcia has indicated his intention to move up to the 147 bits division, presenting potential logistical challenges for a rematch with Haney, who competes in the lightweight division. Ryan is looking for another challenge, now his recent call out of Gavin Davis has sparked renewed interest in a potential rematch between the two fighters Garcia fresh off his victory over Devin Haney wasted no time in targeting Davis, the only man to have defeated him professionally, in a series of tweets posted just two hours ago Garcia directly challenged 